Hello, what's up? Welcome back. Let's take a look at the latest from Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu Mate. This is the Alpha 1, I think. I've had this in my machine for a while. Uh, keep in mind, this is not a finalized product, but I thought I would do just a test install in VirtualBox to see if it works. Why not? So let's get started. If you are new to the world of Linux, a virtual machine is one of the safest ways to test any operating system, including Linux. If you are running Windows, you can uh, test this quite safely because if it breaks, it'll break, it'll break virtually. It won't break the entire machine. So, but for this test, I'm testing this with Ubuntu 14.04 as the host. And we'll see how Mate works in a virtual machine, at least as far as the install is concerned. Ubuntu Mate, one of the very best, really, in the world for beginners to the world of Linux. I also enjoy Linux Mint, Ubuntu with uh, Unity, Zorin OS is another good one for beginners. All right, let's see what we have. I'd like to say a quick hello to the developer of Ubuntu Mate, 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 it is pronounced Mate. Hello to Martin Wimpress. Hello, Martin. I affectionately call Ubuntu Mate the romantic OS. I won't spoil it. I'll have a link below with my conversation with Martin, he will explain why Ubuntu Mate was created. Let's go with install Ubuntu Mate. This I think is the Alpha 1. The Alpha 2 may have been released. It doesn't really matter. All right, normally, if this was, say, the final version or an LTS, well, it will be an LTS release. Normally, for a full install, I would click Download Updates and install third-party software. This is just a test, so I'll leave them blank and we'll go Continue. Hopefully, it won't crash. But yes, I will have a link below with my uh, conversation with Martin Wimpress. Um, you can tell that a lot of uh, love and hard work went into this terrific Linux-based operating system based on the old GNOME or GNOME 2 desktop environment and still one of my favorites. All right, so install now. Guess I should pay attention. So I need at least a swap partition ext4. That's perfectly fine. Excuse me. Alright, let's keep on going. I don't think I'll do any editing with this. I'll just keep on going. Do the real deal here. Alright, English is fine. Alright, my name, we'll just go with Toss. Pick username Toss. Password 123, since this is just a test. Let's see what we have. All right, some welcome screens. Welcome to Ubuntu Mate, community developed Ubuntu based operating system. It shouldn't take very long. I hope. <clears throat> the weather's so dry here where I live. Let's grab some water. You can click the arrow here, move along if you want to, to explain this to you a little bit more. So if you are absolutely new to the world of Linux, you may want to give this a try once the final release is available sometime around the week of April 20th, I think. This will be an LTS release. I believe this will be supported five years, 
three years. I think it's three years. Yeah, which is not bad. Say goodbye to searching the web for new software with Ubuntu Mate. Welcome, you can find install new apps with ease. Well, ease is good. Take your music with you. I usually do. Have fun with your photos. Make the most of the web. And somebody asked me, why do I have so many web browsers? I don't think I have a favorite one right now, to be quite honest. That's why. Everything you need for the office. Access for everyone. Community, contact the community. Okay. By the way, in case you are wondering, you can install, and I recommend an LTS release, you can safely install Ubuntu Mate or any LTS release. You can install it safely as a dual boot with Windows 10 or 8 or 7. There are some precautions. Make sure you back up all your important stuff, you know, family photos, documents, stuff like that. Back it up first, but it is perfectly safe usually to dual boot with Linux and Windows. And it's usually perfectly safe to delete Linux if for some reason you just don't like it, it's not for you, I just wanted to keep Windows. Again, there are specific steps to do that. Um, that's not for tonight, maybe in some future videos, but no matter what, always back up first, just in case. So we'll let this install, and I think what I'll do right now is pause the video, and I'll be back. All right, so it looks like the install is successful. Let's see if I can log in. Got a message from someone. take a look at that later. Alright, so the install appears to be successful. Uh, the last test, I suppose, would be guest additions. Um, so let's see what we can do. Ah, the welcome screen. I almost forgot. This is the Welcome to Ubuntu Mate welcome screen. Very nice, by the way. Alright, so introduction, features, getting started, and so on. Okay, today marks the release of Ubuntu Mate 16. Okay, so Alpha 2 is now available. Very good. Close that. Experience an internal error. Again, this is an Alpha, so it will have bugs. Just ignore it. All right, what was I? Ah, uh, yes, guest editions. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go to devices, install guest editions, image. Um, Let's uh, let's see if I remember. Let's go to the terminal first as a step to do. Uh, sudo sumo sudo su, not sudo sumo. Sudo sumo. Yeah, sudo sumo wrestling os. Um, password. Sudo sumo. It's late. Now there are several ways to install guest editions. I normally do it this way. Again, there are different ways. I believe, I haven't done this in a while, I believe I just dragged that over, if I recall. Actually, first, I did forget to do something. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's close that. Yeah, I did forget something. Let's go ahead and go back here. Terminal. Sudo su two three. Uh, let's see. I need sudo apt dash get install build uh, essential. I believe. Yeah. 
Yes, let's go ahead and install the other packages that are necessary so the guest editions will install successfully. And by the way, while this is installing, you can certainly browse this if you want to. Applications, Places, System. I've always liked the ability to right click at the panel, little applets, as you see here. Let's go with eyes. The eyes have it. Don't know why there's eyes on the panel, but whatever. Make sure this is installing. Okay, this will be a couple of minutes, so. Let's go to the Ubuntu Mate website. This is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would, so I hope you stick around. If not, I understand. And here you can get more information. The last stable release would be Ubuntu, Ubuntu Mate 15.10. Just, just keep that in mind, especially if you are a beginner. And there is some more information here. Um, let's see. Okay, download Ubuntu Mate 16.04, which I already did. Let's close the tabs. All right, let me pause this to get part uh, one of this uh, necessary packages to install guest edition successfully. I will pause the video. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Internet is slow tonight, but let's see if we can finally wrap this up here. Let's try to get these VBox editions running. This will run a little faster if you happen to have a test machine laying around. At least a dual core with two gigs of RAM or more, this thing should fly. Keep in mind this is not a finalized product, okay? But if it breaks in a virtual box, so what? And if it breaks in a test PC, again, so what? So, but I think we're gonna be okay. Four hundred and forty nine megabytes of RAM, not too bad. Let's see what wallpapers we have. We have white wallpaper. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, still building the guest editions module. If you want it to go full screen, you really need to do this, so.
Let's see what other software we have. Mate Tweak. What is that? I know what it is. Enable animations, compositing, Windows behavior. You can go with Marco Simple Desktop Effects or Compiz. Window control placement, I prefer to the right. Interface, looks like we got Fedora, Gnome 2, Netbook, OpenSUSE, Redmond, Ubuntu, and Ubuntu Mate. Icon size, large or small? Okay, simple enough. It looks like ooh, we are done. So let's see if we go full screen or not. Cross your fingers. It froze. Oh no, there we go. It will definitely run faster as a full install. But VirtualBox, like I said, one of the safest ways to test a Linux based operating system. password all right looks like it worked we can skip the welcome screen for now close why is that still showing? Hmm. Well, we can go full screen. Let's see. Let's go that way, full screen. All right. There we go. All right. Well, there you have it. It appears that my full install test at least a full install test inside a, inside a virtual machine appears to be successful even installing the vbox guest editions well that's all i have for this one a bit longer than i wanted it to be but i wanted to show especially you beginners out there that you can safely install this inside a virtual box without being scared of breaking with whatever host you have whether it's um, a Linux host or Windows 10 so that's it let me know what you guys think about this keep in mind it's still an alpha so the final release again sometime around April the week of April 20th check it out all links below in the show notes thank you for watching enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive be safe